Hey guys, this is Alex Cordobard. Welcome to today's tutorial. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. Wanted to kick it off with this quote from Albert Einstein, which I thought fit perfectly with this. And it's, Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited to all we know and understand, while imagination embraces the entire world and all there ever will be to know and understand. I mean, if you're in 3D arts or any kind of art, that is a core concept to understand. Imagination, you can literally create anything that you imagine in 3D arts. So your imagination is gonna be a key component and tool to be using for whatever you're doing in any kind of art. All right, let's get right to it. So first thing we're gonna do is delete the default cube by hitting the X key and delete. I don't think the default cube has, cube has ever been used in many scenes, so. But unfortunately, we don't need it here either, so now we're gonna hit Shift A, add mesh, and we're gonna add a circle. We're gonna leave it at 32 vertices. That's all we're gonna need today. And what we're gonna be creating in this tutorial, if I haven't mentioned it already, is I found a simple and easy way to create a gear. So a gear, you can use it for anything that you want in any of your scenes, but there's certainly different ways to do different things. And keep in mind, in any kind of art, there's usually a hundred different ways to do something, but it's not the how that really matters. It's the why you're doing it and what results you want to achieve. Because there's a hundred other ways to make a gear, but I'm gonna show you the way that I found that's really easy and simple and that could get you good results. So now we're gonna hit tab to go into edit mode. A to deselect everything. Hit the B key and left click and drag. And once again, B, left click and drag. And we're gonna select three fourths of the vertices of this circle. Hit X and delete vertices. Now we should have one fourth of our circle because we don't want to do uh, we don't want to do the whole gear. We want to replicate it and duplicate it and make it simple on ourselves. So what we're going to do now is hit A to select everything, and we want to scale this in. However, if I hit E to extrude, and then the S key, you can see that if I scale it in, it's not really giving me the result that I want. We want to scale it in towards the center of the circle. So the way to do that is go over here and change it from median point to 3D cursor. And what this will do is when you hit the S key, you will see that it scales in towards the center. How awesome is that? So we could just scale it in. And yeah, it's simple, but I still find it to be pretty awesome. It makes it a lot easier. And now what we're gonna do is we want to select hit control tab and go to edge mode and we want to select every other edge on our circle and now we're gonna hit E to extrude right click to deselect and then once again hit the S key and scale it up to however long you want your gears to be now what we want to do is we want to scale these down individually we want to make it thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom so we could do that one by one but that seems to be a pain and again I said we want to do things simply and easily so just go down here and we're gonna change it to individual origins so now our scaling point is the individual origin but how about we scale them all at the same time which is a lot easier so shift right click all the edges here and you can see that when we hit S, we could scale all of them individually. So scale them down to however thin you want them. And now we're gonna thicken the middle part of it really fast. So control R to add an edge loop, left click to add and right click to leave it in the center. So once again, control R, left click, right click, same thing on all of these. Now we're going to select them all by alt shift right clicking on them and then S to scale them up. All right, so we got one fourth of our gear down. I think we're doing pretty well if I do say so myself. 
And now let's go to the modifiers panel because all we need to do now is pretty much a lot of modifiers or not that much, but one or two. So we're going to add an array modifier and this will basically duplicate your object however many times you want. And I know for some of you who already know what the array modifier does, you're probably thinking, God, Alex, get on with it. I know, I know, but I'm trying to explain this for people who might n have never used it before. So if this is a little slow for some of you, bear with me. I'm trying to keep it good for everybody here. <laughs> so now we're going to hit Shift A and add a plain axis empty. And what we want to do is go back to our gear by right clicking it. And we're not going to do relative offset, so you could deselect that. We're going to select object offset, and we're going to select empty. Now, we're going to rotate this, and as you can see, when I rotate it, the gear rotates with it. So we're going to rotate it on the Z-axis by hitting RZ90. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And we're going to bump this up to four times. Now you can see that we have our gear and we're going to hit merge first and last. And what this does is if you don't have this on, you will have some cuts in the middle where the gears are duplicated, but they're not actually connected together. So all this does is it merges the cuts together so that it's all one seamless circle. Now what we want to do is add some depth to our gear. So hit A in object mode, E to extrude, and just bring it down to about there. So we're making pretty good progress. And now all we're going to do is add a modifier. We're going to add a, where is it? A bevel modifier. I was trying to find my my words right there. We're going to add a bevel modifier. And what we want to do now is we can see some weird artifacts going on right here. So that's happening because we have some faces in the middle of our object. So hit control tab, go to face mode, go inside of your gear. Kind of looks like a spaceship in here or something. We're going to select this face right here with right click X faces. And same thing on the other side. If I can find it. All right, there it is. X right faces or right click X faces. And now you can see that we have our gear. Although it's looking a little rounded here. So what we're going to do what we're going to do to help it give it a sharper look is hit tab to go into edit mode, control R, and we're going to add a loop cut all the way around here. The closer you bring it to the top, the more sharp it will be. You don't want it to be directly on top of the other uh, edges, however, because that will create some problems. So bring it just under, and same thing on the bottom. And there we have it. It's looking pretty good. You could also do that in the center right here. Give it a sharper look if you'd like. And now we have our gear. Pretty cool and simple. I just want to show you one last quick thing to if you want to add like holes or uh, extra extra detail to your gear. We're going to do two quick things. First, I'm going to duplicate this by shift right clicking each of these and then shift D. Copy them over here. With this gear, I'm going to hit control R, scroll the mouse wheel up twice so that I have two loop cuts. And then just right click to confirm. Now I'm going to hit control tab to go into face mode. Alt right click in the middle right here. And then hit E and bring this down. And now all we have to do is delete the extra faces that are on the side right here. And boom! It's looking just a little more detail with something so simple as just adding a little bit of depth in the middle. On this one right here, we're going to add some punctures or some holes in the middle. It's going to make it look pretty cool. So what we're going to do is hit Shift A. We're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a cylinder. Scale it down to however big or small you want the holes to be. 
position it about right here and we're going to position another one right here to have two so we're going to put it here shift d to duplicate and put it around here and make sure that in edit mode of your gear it's within the boundaries of the mesh of the mesh right here that you can edit so i'm going to leave those here and now i'm going to select both of these cylinders hit s z scale them up and make sure that they're going through the whole gear you want to make sure that they're going straight from the top to the bottom with the two cylinders selected hit control j and that will join them into one mesh now select your gear hit add modifier and we're going to add the boolean modifier i should be able to pronounce that i'm french but you know what are you going to do select object and we're going to select cylinder now you might be thinking yeah <laughs> Well, we need to select, go from intersect to difference. And now, if we hit apply, you will see that, and select your cylinders, hit X and delete them. You will see that we have some holes that have been created in the gear in a matter of seconds. Now, how cool is that? So you could add literally any amount of detail to these in a matter of seconds and the beautiful thing is that these are not one whole gear that you have to edit but it's just one fourth of a gear that you can change and edit and it and it changes the whole rest of the gear so that's just a quick tutorial for you guys today one last thing I want to show you if you want to scale up your gear make it smaller or bigger if you select both of these and scale it up you can see that it works pretty pretty good. You want to make sure that you have both selected. If you only select one of them, you can see that it scales it up a little strange. So you either want to select both of these and scale them up, or I believe if you select just the gear and scale it up or down, if you then hit Control A and hit Scale, it will then bring the scale of the object to one which you can see right here because if I scale this down you can see that the scale is all it's not at one right here and you want to make sure that it's always at one because then it keeps it it keeps your objects from doing some crazy weird things like this right here unless this is the look that you're going for but I don't know how well this gear is gonna turn so always make sure to hit control control a not control s control a scale to bring it all the values back to one all right, there you have it. That's a quick way to creating some gears in Blender. Of course, then you could add some materials uh, on the thumbnail image. I All I did was add a plane with a particle system, and I made the gears falling down from a particle system. But just want to give you this quick tip for today. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome weekend. If you have any requests or need any help or anything at all, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, message me on YouTube, go on my Facebook, like my page on Facebook, and um, subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you part of the community. Uh, we're just a wonderful group here, Blender Maniacs. All right, love you guys. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Again, you need anything, I'm here. Keep on blending and have a wonderful start of your week. I'll see you soon. Peace.